This is an ultrasound study of G3 uh, patient, oxygen smear, femur length 3.63, fetal age 21 weeks, 4 days, and you can see that the kidneys, both kidneys are an eye, they are multicystic with uh, relatively preserved parenchyma. <coughs> the right kidney measures 4.35 in length and 1.84 in uh, anterior posterior diameter, the left kidney measures 4.73 and in length and 2.15 in anterior posterior diameter. Now this is, this is the right kidney, this one. Okay. And this is the left kidney. Sorry. This is the left kidney. You see the markers there. You can see the tiny cystic areas. See the cystic areas. This is the mild parenchyma that you can see. This is the vertebral column, vertebral body. And this is a case of intrauterine fetal demise at 21 weeks, gestational age. Here we see that there is hardly any amniotic fluid seen in the gestation in the year. There is no, uh, you will not see any amniotic fluid. So this is okay. Anhydramnios. This anhydramnios is seen. This is the uh, cervix. And if you see that the internal os is closed, by a plug, this is the urinary bladder, and this region is the placenta. It's completely covering the, this is the region of the, this is the cervix, cervix and all of this is the uh, placenta. And the placenta is the steel wall, and it's covering the os totally, completely. You see, it's completely covering the os, internal os. This is the cervix. And uh, this is the placenta. It's completely covering the cervix. So this, it has, uh, she has placenta previa, which is complete, grade uh, two. Here we are, again, you can see the kidneys giving a multicystic appearance. Here we are, this is the kidney. This is the kidney. Possibly multicystic dysplastic kidney, bilateral multicystic dysplastic kidney or a polycystic kidney. Here you will see overlapping of the skull bone. When you see the overlapping of the fetal skull bones, it is called spiraling sign and this is indicative of intrauterine fetal demise. Now you see that this is a skull and you see the skull bones are broken and overlapping with each other. And uh, the other feature that is to be noted is that, uh, well, I do see cardiac activity, so this is not a case of intrauterine demise. There, were, there are multiple pathologies. This is the heart. You can see the flickering of the heart. This is the heart. So the fetus is alive yet and uh, has the cardiac activity of uh, the prognosis is uh, going to be very poor. The cardiac activity is something around 127 beats per minute with regular beats, with regular waveform. Okay, so the fetus is alive. It's not a present, it is not a case of intrauterine fetal demise. And uh, the uh, pathology uh, is, lies in the kidneys. The reason for uh, the anhydramnios 
is uh, these kidneys, the renal pathology, this is the kidney you can see, and these are the two kidneys taken together in transfer section. This is the new form of polycystic, polycystic kidneys. Okay. Now these systems are relating to the kidney. In fact, the kidneys, I would like to write it like this. The vertebral column is okay. And uh, this is the eye. This, this is the eye, eye of the fetus. This is the body of the fetus in, in longitudinal section. Here we just see the uh, cardiac activity. The chest is small. Here you see this is the chest. You see the cardiac activity. You see the flicker. This is the flicker. Note in this region. You see the cardiac activity by MO shows you the waveform that is regular. We don't see any movement. I have not seen any movement of the fetus. Now this is the femur and uh, the this is the femur that uh, by years 3.6 and uh, is consistent with the gestational age of uh, 21 weeks. So this is a case of uh, infect. We will conclude thereby that uh, this is a case. This is a tuba, TB and fibula. Is it? This is TB and fibula. This is the knee joint. Now this is, where is the urinary bladder for that matter now? The urinary bladder is not realized. What's seen is that uh, the cause of the fetal anomaly suggesting uh, the reason for oligohydramnios is bilateral renal disorder, renal pathology, renal anomaly, that is bilateral dysplastic multisystic kidneys. There you are. So, These cystic areas are very much suggestive of you know, kidneys. These, these are, now this is the longitudinal section of both kidneys. And both you can see are multi-cystic. Cysts are communicating with each other. Cysts do communicate with each other. This is the longitudinal section. This is the femur, this is the femur. Urinary bladder is empty. If you let me know, it is empty. See, this is, if this is the urinary bladder, it is empty. Here you can see all the. Here you see if this is the heart that is beating. Uh, this is this. This is the kidney. This is the kidney. So this is a case of. Uh, oligohydramnios with overlapping skull bones such as stink impending bad prognosis that's a very bad prognostic sign if you see this uh, that the head of the fetus shows overlapping skull bones. Again you can see that. Now with that we see posterior placenta 
great to completely covering the earth and uh, this is our case of the day. The renal anomaly as a cause of uh, oligohydramnios. Thank you.